How's it going everyone? Welcome to our Forex trading for beginners video. If you've been wondering how to get started in the world of Forex trading, you're in the right place. In this comprehensive step-by-step -step guide, we'll be diving into the basics of Forex trading, developing a trading strategy, and of course, tips and advice to help you on your journey to becoming a successful Forex trader. By the end of the video, you'll have a solid understanding of what Forex trading is and how it works and the tools you need to get started. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Okay, so we're going to start off with the basics. In this section, we'll be discussing the fundamentals of the Forex market, including what Forex trading is, why people trade Forex and the various participants in the Forex market. So what is Forex trading? Forex or foreign exchange refers to the global market where currencies are traded. Forex trading involves buying one currency while simultaneously selling another. And this is done in pairs. For example, if you're trading the EUR and USD, you're buying euros and selling dollars. There are many types of currency pairs, major, minor, and exotic. Major currency pairs involve the most traded currencies, such as the US dollar, euros and the Japanese yen. Minor currency pairs include less traded currencies like the New Zealand dollar or the Swedish krona. Exotic currency pairs involve a major currency and a currency from an emerging market which includes the US dollar and the South African rand. Now let's talk about why people trade Forex. There are several key reasons. One, accessibility. The Forex market is open 24 hours a day, five days a week, which means you can trade it at any time that suits you. Number two, liquidity. Forex is the largest financial market in the world with an average daily trading volume of over five trillion. You heard that right. This liquidity allows for smoother and more efficient trading. Three, leverage. Forex brokers offer leverage, which allows you to control larger positions with smaller amount of capital. Four, potential for profit. The Forex market offers opportunities for profit as you can earn from both rising and falling currency values. Now let's briefly discuss the various participants in the Forex market. Number one, central banks. These institutions manage a country's currency and monetary policy. Two, commercial banks. They act as intermediaries between central banks and other market participants. Three, hedge funds. These institutions trade currencies to hedge their investments or to profit from currency fluctuations. Four, retail traders. These are the individual traders like you and me who trade Forex for personal gain. Now we're going to talk about how to choose a broker, opening an account and understanding the different types of trading accounts available. The first step in starting your Forex journey is choosing a broker. When selecting a broker, consider these factors. One, regulations and licenses. Make sure the broker is regulated and licensed by a reputable financial authority. Two, trading platforms. Look for user-friendly platforms that offer the tools and features you need. Three, spreads and commissions. Compare the spreads and commissions charged by different brokers to find the best deal for you. Four, customer support. A broker with excellent customer support can be invaluable, especially for beginners. Okay, now once you've chosen your broker, to help you get started, here's a list of some reputable Forex brokers you might want to consider. Please note that it's important that you do your own research when choosing your broker. One, IG. IG is a well-established broker that offers a user-friendly platform, tight spreads, tight spreads, and a wide range of markets to trade. They are regulated by multiple financial authorities. Two, eToro. eToro is known for its social trading platform, allowing 
allowing users to copy the trades of successful traders. They offer a variety of financial instruments, including Forex, stocks, and cryptocurrencies. eToro is regulated. 3. Forex.com As one of the largest Forex brokers globally, Forex.com offers a wide range of currency pairs, competitive spreads, and advanced trading tools. They are regulated by the FCA, NFA, CFTC, and the ASIC. 4. XM XM is a popular broker with a range of account types, including micro accounts for those with smaller trading capital. They offer over 55 currency pairs and are regulated as well. 5. Awanda Awanda is known for its transparent pricing and easy to use trading platform. They offer a variety of financial instruments, including true, including Forex, commodities. Onda is regulated as well. Remember, it's crucial to do your own research and choose a broker that meets your specific needs. Okay, now that you have an idea of some potential brokers, let's discuss the different types of trading accounts available. Generally, there are three main types of accounts. Demo accounts, live accounts, and different account sizes, such as standard, mini, and micro. Demo accounts are an excellent starting point for beginners. A demo account allows you to practice trading using virtual money without risking any real capital. You'll have access to the broker's trading platform, tools, features, just like a live account. It's a great way to familiarize yourself with the trading environment and develop your skills before into diving in. Once you feel comfortable with a demo account and are ready to trade with real money, you can open a live account. A live account requires you to deposit your own funds and allow you to trade and potentially make profits in the real market. Keep in mind that unlike the demo account, you'll be risking real money in the live account, so proper risk management is essential. Forex brokers offer various account sizes to accommodate traders with different level of capital and risk tolerance. There are three main account types, standard account, mini account, micro account. The standard account as an account type usually requires a higher minimum deposit and allows you to trade standard lots where one lot equals to 100,000 units of base currency. It's suitable for traders with more significant capital and experience. Two, mini account. Mini accounts have lower minimum deposit requirements and allow you to trade mini lots where one lot equals 10,000 units. This type of account is suitable for traders with moderate capital who want to manage their risk exposure. Three, micro account. Micro accounts cater to traders with limited capital as they allow you to trade micro lots where one lot equals to a thousand units of base currency. This account type is ideal for beginners who want to start trading with similar amount of money. For most beginners, you'll start off with a micro account. In account type, consider your trading experience risk tolerance, and the amount of capital you're willing to invest. As a beginner, it's generally re recommended to start with a demo account, followed by a micro or a mini account, before progressing to a standard account, as you gain more experience and confidence. Now we'll be discussing some popular Forex trading platforms, how to navigate them, and the essential features you need to know. Two of the most popular Forex trading platforms are MetaTrader 4, and MetaTrader 5 or MT4 or MT5. Developed by MetaQuote software, these platforms are widely used by beginners and experienced traders due to their user-friendly interface, advanced charting tools, and compatibility with custom indicators and expert advisors. MT4 has been the industry standard for years, but MT5 is slowly gaining popularity as it offers some additional features such as more time frames and order types. Both platforms are available for desktop, web, and mobile devices, allowing you to trade from anywhere, anytime. Let's take a closer look at how to navigate the MetaTrader platform. Some key components you need to be familiar with include market watch, charting tools, time frames, 
and indicator. Market Watch is where you can see live quotes for various financial instruments, including currency pairs, and access their respective charts. The platform offers various charting tools to help you analyze price movements, such as bar, candlestick, and line charts. Time frames. You can view charts in multiple time frames, ranging from one minute to one month, depending on your trading style and trading strategy. Four, indicators. MetaTrader comes with a wide range of built-in technical indicators like moving averages, oscillators, which can help you make informed trading decisions. Okay, now let's discuss how to place and manage trades on MetaTrader platform. Here are a couple basic steps. Here are a couple basic steps. Step number one, market orders. To place a market order, you can either click the new order button on the toolbar or right click on the chart and select trading, followed by new order. You'll need to choose the currency pair, order type, and lot size before clicking buy or sell. Two, pending orders. If you want to place an order at a specific price level, you can use pending orders to do this. Click new order, select pending order tab, and choose the type of pending order you want to place. Then enter the desired price level, lot size, and any stop loss or take profit levels. Three, stop loss and take profit. It's crucial to set stop loss and take profit levels to manage your risk and protect your profits. You can add or modify these levels directly from the new order window or by dragging the corresponding lines to the charts. Four, modifying and closing orders. To modify or close an order, right click on the order in the trades tab of the terminal window and select modify or close order. By understanding the MetaTrader platform features and tools, you'll be better equipped to analyze the market, make informed trading decisions, and manage your trades effectively. Okay, now we'll be discussing two essential types of analysis that Forex traders use to make informed trading decisions. Fundamental analysis and technical analysis. Fundamental analysis involves examining the underlying economic factors that affect the value of a currency. Traders use this type of analysis to determine a currency's intrinsic value and predict its future direction. Key economic indicators and events to consider include interest rates, inflation, economic growth, and employment data. Technical analysis focuses on historical price data and chart patterns to predict future market movements. Technical traders use various tools and techniques such as support and resistance, trend lines, chart patterns, and technical indicators. Successful traders often use a combination of both fundamental and technical analysis to make a well-rounded trading decision. A key component to consider is to how to choose your trading style that suits you. Having a well-defined trading strategy is crucial to your success as a Forex trader. A trading strategy helps you make consistent and disciplined decisions, managing your risk and avoiding emotional trading. A good strategy should include the following components. Entry signals, exit signals, risk management, and a trading journal to keep record of all your trades, including entries and exit points, reasons for the trade, and its outcome. This helps you learn from your success and your mistakes. An idiot with a plan beats a genius any day. Now, when developing your trading strategy, it's essential to choose a trading style, okay? And the trading style has to align with your personality, risk, tolerance, and time commitment. Some common trading styles include scalping, and scalpers aim to profit from small price movements, often hold positions for a few minutes or even seconds. This style requires high level of focus and quick decision making. Two, day trading. Day traders open and close positions within the same trading day, avoiding overnight risk. This style requires moderate time commitment and the ability to analyze markets quickly as well. 
Three is swing trading. Swing traders hold positions for several days to weeks, aiming to profit from larger price swings. Larger price swings, this style is suitable for those who can't dedicate their entire day to trading but can still monitor the markets regularly. And four, position trading. Position traders have long-term perspectives, holding positions for weeks to months or even years. This style is suitable for those who are more patient and analytical. Experiment with different trading styles on a demo account to find out what, what to find out what suits you best. Remember, consistency and discipline is key to becoming a successful trader. Another thing is trading psychology. Now, the importance of maintaining the right mindset and controlling your emotions while trading Forex is crucial. Maintaining the right mindset and emotional control helps you make rational decisions and adhere to your trading strategy even under pressure. Some common psychological pitfalls that traders may face include fear, greed, and overconfidence. So beware of the three. Some tips to help you manage your trading psychology is develop a trading plan. This will provide structure and discipline, and it'll help you stay focused and make rational decisions. Two, set realistic expectations Understand that losses are part of trading and focus on long-term success rather than short-term success. Three, practical risk, practical risk management. Always use stop-loss orders and risk management rules to protect your trading capital. Four, take breaks and maintain a healthy work-life balance. Taking breaks and maintaining a balanced lifestyle will help you reduce stress and prevent burnout. By understanding and managing your trading psychology, you'll be better equipped to handle the emotional challenges of Forex trading. In conclusion, we've covered the essential aspects of Forex trading for beginners from understanding the basics of the Forex market to choosing brokers, selecting trading platforms, developing a trading strategy, and we also talked about the importance of fundamental and technical analysis as well as managing your trading psychology. Remember, the key to becoming a successful Forex trader is patience, practice, and discipline. Start with a demo account to gain experience and confidence and follow your trading plan while managing risk effectively. Continuously learn from your trades and refine your strategy as you gain more experience. Forex trading can be both challenging and rewarding. By mastering the concepts we discovered in this guide and dedicating your time and effort to your trading journal, you'll be well on your way to achieving your financial goals in this exciting world of Forex. Thank you for joining us in this comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to Forex trading for beginners. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down your journey and your experiences and how long you've been trading Forex.